Hi guys, welcome back. Jeff Allen off the Green Iron. Hi guys, Jeff Allen off the grid and welcome back and today I'm in the uh, in the shop working on a few things uh, and in fact I want to revisit one of the old videos I made and share with you some uh, kind of new ideas that have just come to me. So quite often what I'd use uh, kind of for practice is I'd visit my old uh, local thrift shop and pick up perhaps a, a variation of a, a steak knife uh, usually of, of stainless origin and sometimes German or Swedish steel and uh, sometimes you can you can read the often the description on the blade. So this was a, a make that I picked up, uh, Ross Fry, and uh, again I'd start with that big beefy uh, full tank construction, thick uh, kind of grip and, and handle, and uh, from there I thought I could profile it down to to be more of a utility knife or bushcraft knife and I've done some videos of this in the past and I haven't done one for a while so I thought I'd try one out for you guys again uh, today and show you what I made. So it was uh, without uh, too much uh, grinding and sanding that I found out that these pins were actually false pins and that the uh, the handle scales are actually hollow. So before long I had to abandon um, all the scales and I was just left with the the raw piece of steel. This is uh, of a similar knife. The, the one I redesigned and reprofiled was a little deeper, a little thicker, and a little longer. So I'd like to show you what I came up with for that. So this is uh, kind of what I came up with. You can see it's the, the same, um, same make on there. And uh, basically what I did, I kind of reprofiled the, the handle to be a very very comfortable grip with a number of different options available. I cut the scales a little short to expose this uh, this end here. If I had to use it to hammer on or use it to uh, chip or strike anything, um, I can do so without damaging the scales. The scales are like a, a bird's eye maple, I believe. If you can uh, if you can tell what kind of uh, wood that is and let me know in the comments, that'd be great. Uh, in, included just a little variation here, a little grinding area that's 90 degrees for fire steel. And this is kind of a, a worn, uh, I think it's called a worn cliff, uh, kind of a point on the on the top. It's kind of a reverse tanto style. Bit of a scanty grind on there, not the, the, not the best grind, but uh, certainly functional and just nice and flat and certainly sharp. So this is what you can create, but I did want to show you one other thing that's going to appeal to some of you uh, that make your own handles. The scales on the side, the liners on the inside, they are actually made from the free samples you get of the vinyl cards. You get vinyl card samples of various uh, vinyl siding at your hardware store. So this was kind of an olive drab um, gray with orange and I uh, like the way that turned out. And again, for free, not all of us have uh, um, kind of the, those liners or scale materials available to us. So sometimes you have to make do with what we have. And when I saw that in the hardware store, I saw that, thought that was a perfect, perfect way to incorporate those colors into the handle. The handle has been treated with uh, uh, one coat of uh, boiled linseed oil, and I'll be doing up another one soon. So again, this is what we started with, um, very similar to this in terms of brand, and this is what we uh, kind of came up with and kind of just had some variations with the creativity of, uh, with the handle and the profile of the blade and so on. So I uh, want to share that with you guys. Uh, I know it was a, kind of a miserable cold and rainy day here, and I was down on my shop working on working on a knife and I just finished up. So. There you go. So that turns that bushcraft knife 
um, option into uh, into something a little more viable that you can make um, just by visiting your local thrift store and picking up some uh, kind of well, I guess an old stainless knife, if you will. So certainly a cheaper and a, and a great way to explore and practice uh, your knife making skills. So Jeff Allen off the Great Iron, thanks for watching. If you haven't done so already, don't forget to click like, subscribe, and share. Click the icon at the top to, uh, to subscribe and down below to check out uh, any of the recent videos. So until next time, Jeff Allen, take care, enjoy your outdoors. Bye for now.